Hi, my name is John from Japanese Knife Imports, and today we're going to do a little sharpening video about how to sharpen tips of your Japanese knives. This technique works well for both single and double bevel knives, and is something I picked up from one of the craftsmen while I was training with them in Japan. So, here in our setup, we have our sharpening stone on our base. I find the bases to be extremely convenient as they create much less mess and give you a little bit more height to work with. And here we have our knife. As you go through your sharpening, you'll find that normally you go through kind of like this. Your approach will be a 45 degree angle to the stone. You have your angle set with the spine height relative to the stone, and you'll do your sharpening. As you get to the tip, many people tend to adjust by moving more perpendicular to the stone and lifting up with their right hand. This works pretty well, but I found a slightly better way thanks to uh, Yamaguchi-san, who works with Suisen, uh, one of the companies that we carry. When he does his sharpening, what he does for the tip is brings the blade in more parallel to the stone. So you can see instead of the 45 degree angle of approach, we're kind of coming over here to a more parallel approach. He lifts up his right hand so that the tip is making contact. And his motion is rolling from the right to the left, or from the left to the right. What you're trying to do is make sure that this area of the tip, if your bevel rolls around, that this whole area is in contact with the stone and you kind of roll around so that that width stays consistent throughout your entire sharpening of the uh, edge of your knife. So it looks kind of like this as an exaggerated motion. Lift up, rotate to the side, and move back and forth. As you're rotating away from the spine, you can lower your uh, handle holding hand so that the entire bevel makes contact with the stone. You can see that my hand is going kind of up and down, and I make sure that it's lifted up enough so that my tip is making contact with the stone, so I'm not sharpening just behind the tip, and I'm rotating so that it covers all the way around the curve. This will help you actually maintain the geometry of your knife over time better than other techniques of sharpening. And as you finish the tip, you can go back to your normal method of sharpening. One more time. Lifting up, and rotating as you go through. Your hand will move up and down as you rotate to make sure that you reach the tip and that your entire bevel makes contact. Again, reaching the tip and your entire bevel making contact. On the opposite side, you can do the same thing. You start out your sharpening, and as you move more towards the tip, again, you come more parallel to the stone. In this case, you'll need to give yourself some clearance for your arm to move, so you take a step to the side with your back right foot. You'll start here, raising up with your hand and tilting to the left. And as you rock through, you'll come to the right side. Same thing on both sides you can do. And that concludes our sharpening of the tips of Japanese knives. Thank you very much.